Uh, how long have you been in the game for? I've been on my own for eight years, uh, but then been in the industry what was it? 16 years now. Oh, wow. 16? Mm. Yes, yeah, 16 years. Did you go to college first? Yes, I did a, uh, three years for like uh, Guildford College for like one mm. day a week, um, which kind of it was all right. I was working for well, the first two years, I was working for a window fitting company. Oh. So. And it was all, it's all site car. I'm actually taught in site carpentry. Mm. So everything in joinery, I'm like self-taught. You get into that straight after school? Yeah, I did A-levels. I did, I did A-levels at school. And then I had a year out working with people because um, my apprenticeship fell through. Mm. Um, uh, I was working for a Rastafarian and it just <laughs> didn't work well. <laughs> it smoked way too much. Um, so I had a, a year out and then I found a new person to do apprentice with. Oh. Um, and he was a really skilled kind of carpenter, but it was working for a window fitting firm. But mm. it was enough to give me a basis to then go on and then find. I then I worked my on my own. Well, went and joined a few different companies uh, and moved around from different work sites. And then decided to be more joinery because of uh, I wanted to have a well, more, be more creative, really. You yeah. know, in my what I could do. Whose work inspires you most? My most biggest fan is probably Yo mm. uh, Company. I think some of the stuff they do is so bespoke and so like, highly done. Yeah, it's like how I like to aim my work. Um, and then there's Golding. He mm. does uh, amazing work in RK. You like to have every job different. Yeah, well. so like yeah. to be the same. No, yeah, yeah. So I try and make everything a little bit different and try and make each customer. Uh, a little, I think, a little bit different than the last one to yeah. kind of make it all unique to the yeah. person. Also keeps it a bit more fresh and kind of nicer. But what is your favourite timber to use? The last job I've just done was walnut, and I, if if it, if if all if if I could use walnut over oak, I'd mm. definitely use yeah. it. How long ago did you get into spraying? Uh, well, about three or seven years ago. Oh wow! Um, it, was, it was when I started because I was building the M, my MDF units, and not I was at one stage I was rolling out the sheets in primer and then just deliver him a white primer unit and they mm. would uh, then the client would like hand paint or they'd get a painter in and then i just there was so much time priming and then i looked to go and i went into finishing and bought a little uh h no turbine spray yeah i bought apollo that broke because I, I was spraying it and i had it literally by me, <laughs> so all the, the time, all the over, and, <laughs> and there was no over, no uh, extraction. It was literally yeah. I saw a turbine when I came in here, mm. and then till I got a compressor, and then went from pump, and then only the last year and a bit I've started using pot gun more. Yeah. And what's your favourite pot gun, Sarah? Yeah, nice. so all day now. Sorry, Devilbus. <laughs> <laughs> it was just kind of like the, I think the right, when I had Sarta down there, he literally picked out the right gun for me and told yeah. me the right kind of thing for it mm. and the right for the materials and mm. everything right for it. Like the gun, I think I've got Sam Kremlin and literally it was literally not the right gun for me. They, they gave yeah, because yeah. that gun time. is um, it's a mag magnetic trigger. Yeah, or something like that. So it's, for me, it, it actually feels quite nice, the gun. Yeah. But I'll pre pull the trigger yeah. to um, not get that influx of air. Right. With that, it's either on or off. With the Sarto, as I've done. Over war yeah. flat fan pattern as well, yeah. And really, what helped was when we went down to that Sarto day yeah. and they're going through it and explaining it all. Yeah. Um, you can't fault that. I wouldn't yeah. mind trying the air assisted airless but. gun. That looked beautiful. It looked wicked. Um, someone we know has got one, I need to see what he's saying about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where do you see yourself going in the future of this business? Dying from here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking um, to get anyone else in here? Yeah, I will, I will definitely look at getting someone in, in here. Um, it's just finding the right uh, person. I've had someone in here before, um, and then it's kind of working with them. And then try me trying to switch off and let them do stuff. Um, it's just me being very perfectionist and not yeah. trying trusting people to do something, mm. um, which is hard. I find hard, so it's, it's hard for me to then have someone in here. But then it's also right, right amount of work to then supply that mm. having that person. So yeah, but I think that yeah, it'll be that kind of stage or, or maybe into a more 
Instagram kind of like her page kind of thing, but we're mm. page book description thing, but we're a yeah, I think um, people, a lot of people have already learned from what you put yeah. up on there. Like yeah, I did. Yeah. Like I yeah. learned SketchUp oh, through you and Banks. Yeah. And I was doing with... dynamic components after what? Like a day. <laughs> it's the same as I learned spraying pretty much from you. Yeah, because we just said doing... to you for ages, start charging. Yeah. And you actually haven't. And I don't think you're still really that interested in doing so. Well, yeah. When I started, like, my Instagram account and kind of, like, doing bits, I kind of, like, wanted to kind of help. Well, I learned a lot of my drawing off Instagram. Mm. So I kind of, like, just paint it, paint it, paint it forward, kind of, like, mm. the same thing. Because I, I, was, I, was, I wouldn't be here without Instagram and people, like, letting out their knowledge in bits and pieces. So there would be less work, well, less, less projects, kind of. So it's kind of, like, trying to find a happy medium. Then keeping for some of my clients, I'm gonna wait months and months and months. Yeah, it is nice to actually help people though. It's satisfying when you um, get someone out of a situation. Yeah. It's actually really um, rewarding, I think. It's always nice to, when you see someone, well, you help someone out on bits and pieces, but there's also so much you can't give away. <laughs> With Instagram, why it's so hard is that you are all, um, you all wanna get along, mm. but Business is the competition, but everyone's yeah, yeah. your competition. Yeah, so in, in, the end, in the end, you are the person's competition. Yeah, they know. You see, it, it, you have to be so careful, but you want to help. Yeah. But there has to be a point where you are, uh, it is a business, yeah. you're here to actually make money. Still, about eight, ten, eight projects were still leading up on Instagram because I don't have time editing and then putting them up. Oh, like wow. last, none of the jobs of last year on my Instagram. Oh really? Because I haven't got the mm. final pictures done or oh, something kind of stupid like that. I was like, I want the professional pictures done. Yeah. Well, like one of my favourite jobs that you do, and you've done uh, how many of the secret doors? Secret doors. Three yeah. now. Three of them now. And did you see the progression of them each time? The way you made yeah, it yeah. and all of that. And do you think the last one that you done was the, the best last one I, had, the last I did was the best I did, and it's it's it stayed exactly how it hasn't like altered a tiny bit. Um, or like change the margins, having to literally stay exactly where it is and kind of um, and the design of it and how it went together worked better. Mm. So yeah, they're definitely not the easiest thing to kind of like. First one was like very scratchy head, and yeah. now they're literally kind of got a way of doing it to kind of then go together and work well and then be hidden well and stuff. Yeah. Definitely my favourite because that was actually. That ain't just your normal, it was really detailed. Yeah, but, but <laughs> yeah it, was of, it was a lot of sh shaker and mouldings and bits and pieces yeah. of, and spraying it all first and then smell, well, spray, making it, dismantling it, spraying it, and then putting it all back together without, without touching any of it up to make it still look mm. like it was still yeah. like one piece. Respect I have for cabinet makers that actually spray. So imagine you've actually first be out there and actually get the yeah. work design the work, fabricate the work, spray the work, fit it, don't damage it, and it still look perfect at the end. Then edit the content. <laughs> it's nuts. I just don't see how um, you do it. And I think I'm, my lifestyle just spraying it. Like if I wasn't spraying, I thought I'd have to be finding more jobs to fill in that spraying time. So I know that I've got and I'm doing the spraying as well, so I've got mm. that time. Actually, I'm actually don't have to. I have to find less jobs um, because I'm spraying it as well. Because well, spraying ain't cheap. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I'm like, saving. Yeah, not paying. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's true. Like, when I'm um, sending the invoice out, the industry standard mm. standard fifty five pound a square meter for PU shaker. Yeah. But then I've square meters add up. Yeah. Uh, they're double sided. The rest of that's not double sided. But I still spray the backs. Yeah. And everything, if everything I do would spray, I'd spray the backs, even mm. if they're not seen. They get, mm. they get a, a, a coating to like to make balance sure, it. yeah, mm. to balance it, which I'm sure some people don't. I don't. Do. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's just my, yeah, if I took that to a spray shop, it was like I want both sides. Yeah, down. but like, um... <laughs> <laughs> that's what screws for, isn't it? To keep it straight. <laughs> No. <laughs> you want to balance the balls and rack them up straight like that. Yeah. <laughs> be excited yeah. to see the um, reclaimed reclaim wood one. Yeah, yeah, um, so that's the, the, That will be really interesting. That's, yeah, it's going to be safe. Again, uh, something different and new to fly play with. Yeah, it's the wood about there. Um, again, a customer comes with me, some another idea. It's not, it's not anything I've done before. 
um, because I haven't got a certain, there's no certain thing I keep to, mm. so everything can be made bespoke and different yeah. each time. Obviously, the client's paying for that not being the same in bits and pieces. I'll be really so, interested to see this. Yeah, so if old, you, if old, anyone's old, still putting it off, you will. It's old floorboards. <laughs> yeah, literally. Because I'm very boring to, with my approach mm. to it, but I can see that looking really quite good. Like, uh, it's just hopefully we can get their margins, the yeah. door margins, that looking all good. <laughs> when you look around the workshop, well, I've, all my units uh, are usually an idea which you can't see, but it, each of them is literally me testing out a way of yeah. doing something um, or process, um, which uh, then I've still got loads of different little ideas of mixing grass, stone, or different woods in to make something. Well, now you're thinking about gloss as well, so you yeah, I'm like, oh, let's mix, in a, let's, mm. in, let's mix in heavy, um, like, gloss into it. Like, like the community um, and the scene on through social media and that, you've got the full support, do you know yeah. what I mean? So I'll help you and then you've helped me on things. Yeah. Like it's just, you have that nucleus of people that can throw stuff back and then it starts going out to it. So everyone sort of benefits yeah. from it. So we chat groups where we've got now, where you can talk about something, put an mm. idea past, to get a bit of knowledge from everyone. And literally bouncing off ideas mm. to then try to then put into work and then see how it goes. Believe it or not, yeah. They've actually used people out there, I know some of them. That give false information out. So you <laughs> fuck your job up. Yeah. Oh, what the I think fuck? I think that is really harsh. Yeah, yeah. That is. It's like so you know someone asks for directions, you go, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah right. Right. How much harm did you mix in PU? Yeah, like one percent. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like it's um and I think that's wrong. So um oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I think it, getting the right information because not everything yeah. that you see on Instagram or YouTube oh, is no, actually no. correct. Understand. So you could easily do um, little edits on Instagram debunking stuff. Mm. Right? For me, um, to me, court's still a dirty word. I don't want to call the door. Mm. I don't want to fill a gap in the door. What you do, leave it. Yeah. But there's one thing I don't like is that paint in a bottle and just squidging it into the corners. Because right. what I do is they'll have a, a pre cut paint. Right. <laughs> Just squidge it into the corner, top cut over it. Right. You're going to lose all of the profile. Right. It's supposed to be a shaker door, now it's got a rounded yeah. profile in it. So it's just going to crack to fuck. So the last job I did was a, a maple door. I had the inside, purposely did the inside of the shaker frame. Yeah. And I did a, um, a shallow detail. Yeah. So where, it's gonna move. So, so where the panel hits the uh, framing, there was a thin sh mm. shadow detail. Mm. Well, the whole pa middle panel didn't hit the... That floating, yeah. Yeah, so... Like the, um, the so, Americans in that did, don't they? Yeah. When I was spraying it, I had to spray it so kind of thin and generally. Yeah. Was that a water-based job you did? No, it's still for you. Oh, wow. And it's still... Uh, it's just... I'd use the... Again, using the... The 1.4, so mm. really fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it yeah, wasn't yeah. throwing the paint mm. on and just kind of like slowly building it up and putting it on. And what... Wait, that was the one that was next to... <laughs> mm, we'll bleep that name, mate. I <laughs> know, <laughs> oh, I've got a wicked one to show you. <laughs> uh, we just done a... Did I send show you the video? Uh, maybe. They, do, do we have to redo? Try pink. and redo. Dad just done it. Right. He just literally smashed it. Yeah, like just actually used good quality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, you know them on there where you showed me the the gaps on the doors and they was like fucking. Oh yeah, yeah. These ones are that big. We love it though. Yeah. When we go up against these big boy well, companies. Big. Just it's, annihilate this. It, well, I just kind of look like, it's like, oh God, that's your pain. The customer's paying so much for that and they don't know sometimes which like. Well, you could be paying a hundred and, let's just say well over a hundred grand for one of the kitchens, yeah? Our stuff will go in there, yeah. their client will drop, drop on the floor. I've just had it, one of my clients, again, working against They've seen it, they're like, oh my God, why didn't we get you to the kitchen? Well, I had the paint to come in and I had to copy his mm. kitchen so mm. all the mouldings and everything had to be the same yeah. and the painting came and it was like well it looks like a kitchen but it's not i know it's not but it looks like it is because there's little details but it's, i was like no that's my one <laughs> i don't know how to get away with it that's why the content is so important we you're actually showing the design process yeah you're showing how it's being made like so on point mm -hmm. with your jigs and all of that um the main word is is longevity. You, you don't, you're, you're gonna you're making them doors nice and tight. You're not making them with um, 
gaps here and there. It is where you've glued it, you've sanded it, you've painted it, it's going to be like that. Yeah. The whole end result with your attention to detail on the prep, on the painting, when it all goes in, then it goes up against the other company. There's just a difference. It just has an extra like icing on the cake. It, you can see visually, why does that one look better? Because the attention to detail from yeah. every single process. I think it's because I make, well, design, make, and then spray. So I'm think I'm when I'm making something, I'm thinking of right, well, how am I gonna make the spraying process easier, easier or, yeah. or the best it can be? Mm -hmm. So I'm sanding every bit or pre-spraying something or just yeah, it's like sanding every edge just so I know when it's sprayed, it's literally gonna go and lay there how it should and stuff. Yeah. And not have the sander trying to get in there and sand yeah. like you, <laughs> you have to do. Well, I think with uh, someone like yourself, you um you want to be the best like your yeah. attitude i always like to try and beat my last job so yeah. it's like, but i'm in competition with uh, other people i would say, but i'm also in competition with myself Yourself, yeah. like i was like right that was good i was like well, how can i beat my mm. last job how can i make it make it better because mm. it's like even my, my spray and i'm like each time i'm like have i this one's still going yeah yeah do that one then talking about uh about being the best <laughs> <laughs> Like, there's other people, like, even close mates, and I like, right, it's like a friendly competition that helps, be, oh, yeah, 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 it drives yeah. you to be better. But I also, like, see my see what I've done before and go, right, how can I make that job, the next one, just a little bit better or a little bit better? What detail mm. can I add to improve that? Or, like, when I finish a job, I usually look at all the tiny mistakes. I don't see the whole good thing. I usually yeah. walk away going, no, oh, I can't look at that mistake or that tiny imperfection. Yeah. Um, so it's yeah, it's more kind of walking away sometimes and like going, yes, there's no imperfections or something. Well, it, and, you and you've that. actually created what uh, the vision from your sketch yeah. up, the clients are going nuts. That's the thing about Instagram, is there is a lot of competition on there, but it's a good thing. Yeah. It, as in, it's everyone's game has been raised yeah. by uh, really it's scrutiny. Yeah. You've got We've it's got just, your competition looking at you making the stuff. Do you do the lighting in that as well? Uh, if, if it's the LEDs, LED you know, the, stuff, the yeah. bits and pieces, I won't do anything actually which has to be in the, done to the house. No. Obviously, because mm. it's not uh, done. But yeah, I do all the LEDs now. Painting is the final product. It's if what you, the client's You could do a see. really good job and then the, uh, some painting come in and paint, the, paint it shit. Mm. And then you're like, oh, that's my work. Paint. I never took any of my work to a spray. Oh really? So I've never told oh, wow. so I've always just done it myself. Mm. I've never had anyone had to outsource. It's all green from watching your videos really. It's kind of uh, I remember literally day one, I can't remember, I was still I was still in my old shed, still spraying AC, um, mm. and then literally kind of over the years learning and asking me questions of how paints and what paints, what suppliers, which yeah. kind of pots to you, which guns and supplies and supplies. So yeah, it's all about being, I wouldn't be anywhere close to how I am without your channel. Well, thank you for inviting me down today. Right. Well done. Stick a few years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, it's surprising yeah. that I haven't been down here um, before, but yeah. uh, now we're here, so thanks for that, mate. Thanks, well, mate. Cheers. Thanks for the hat.